Hi there, and welcome to Prostate Cancer Real Talk. I'm Elle, and this is my wife, Shay. I am a prostate cancer survivor. Did you know that September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month? One in eight U.S. men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer during his lifetime. And Black men are 50% more likely to be diagnosed and twice as likely to die from it. I was diagnosed in 2020 and regular screening, early detection and treatment most likely saved my life. Our short video with Dr. Adam Murphy of Northwestern Medicine will explain the early warning signs of a potential prostate problem. Dr. Uh, Murphy, one of the things, again, like we want to do is impart information and we want to motivate people, uh, men and particularly black men, to, to get more, uh, become more aware of prostate cancer, prostate health, learning what the warning signs can be and whatnot. We talked about this before, but let's just recap this for a second so that our new listeners may uh, benefit from your expertise. So if I'm a guy and I'm listening to this, I'm like, man, I wonder if I have a prostate problem, whatever. How do you know? How does a guy know other than going and getting a regular PSA test and whatnot, but just in your everyday life, how would a guy know that he's headed for some trouble with his prostate? So I have to just say that the whole purpose of screening is to find asymptomatic men by the PSA test so that you detect prostate cancer when it is curable, which is 99% curable when you detect it early and only 25% curable when you detect it late. So I just want to say that that's the, the number one thing is doing the screening with your primary care doctor and getting a primary care doctor is probably the biggest thing that you can suggest to someone else. You know, the PSA testing is what saved L's life, what saved my husband's life. Because yeah. at the point of his surgery, his uh, cancer has, was just inside of the prostate, getting ready to spread outside of the prostate. So had he not had the PSA testing, we wouldn't have known that. But in terms of symptoms, who's at high risk? If you have a family history of other cancers, like breast cancer, colon cancer, prostate cancer, ovarian cancer, certain genetic syndromes for cancer syndromes, you should be on alert to say that even though your mom had breast cancer or ovarian cancer, you could very well have gotten prostate cancer from her genetics. Obviously, your biggest risk is if someone in your family, a brother, father, even second degree relatives to a degree will increase your risk of prostate cancer. So second degree are uncles and grandfather, half brothers, can increase your risk of, of prostate cancer. And so if you have that in your family, you should be thinking about, okay, I'm gonna increase risk of cancer, not just the same cancer that they had. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. The other thing is if you are having difficulty with you know, keeping your weight on, you're having weight loss or bone pain or difficulty with urinating or blood in the urine, um, new leg swelling, kidney pain, like flank pain from the kidneys, other signs of advanced cancer, uh, and you should definitely come in. Thank you so much, Dr. Murphy, for sharing that information with us. For more great information on prostate cancer, please visit our website, prostatecancerrealtalk.com. That is prostatecancerrealtalk.com.